coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. A drone makes a long-distance flight through civilian airspace. Lilium releases new drone footage of their air taxi. And Zipline demonstrates their medical supply drones with the U.S. military. Welcome to Air on News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. A Penguin B drone owned by the Norwegian Defense Research Establishment concluded a 200-kilometer Norwegian coastal flight, passing through several different types of controlled civil airspace. The flight demonstrated a new wireless data link technology using phase array antennas, as well as a lightweight transponder on the aircraft. The Penguin B took off from Froya on Norway's Midwestern coast and flew north to Rorvik where its landing was assisted by a crew from the Norwegian University of Technology and Science. The flight lasted 2 hours and 12 minutes and proves the ability of unmanned aircraft not only flying round trips from one base, but also to serve on missions involving transits from multiple bases. For example, search and rescue operations could stray from where a drone took off. Having the capability to land it elsewhere could keep it in the air longer. Now, let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for our Unmanned Minute. Volo Copter successfully completed its first man of flight over Singapore's Marina Bay. This was the last trial of a demanding test series and kicks off Volo Copter's effort to bring commercial air taxi services to Singapore. Government authorities supported Volo Copter in this testing phase and will continue to do so in the future. Raytheon and AirMap integrated AirMap's UAS monitoring capabilities onto a working prototype of Raytheon's next-generation air traffic controller workstation called Multi-Platform ATC Rehosting Solution, or MARS. With this integration, MARS now offers air traffic controllers streamlined access to UAS monitoring designed to improve the safety of drone integration. Uber and Saffron Cabin exhibited an eVTOL mock-up at NBAA, based on a future vision for on-demand urban air mobility vehicles. By going vertical, future eVTOL vehicles will allow passengers to quickly travel in crowded urban environments, turning a typical 90-minute car ride into an 8-15 to minute flight. For the first time in the United States, a drone completed a scheduled commercial residential delivery to a home in Christiansburg, Virginia. The drone delivery was conducted by Wing Aviation in collaboration with FedEx Express as part of the DOT's UAS integration pilot program. Last week, the NBAA unveiled a new report detailing the financial and economic business case for urban air mobility and its benefits for business aviation users. The report, titled Business Aviation Embraces Electric Flight, How Urban Air Mobility Creates Enterprise Value, was a joint undertaking of NBAA and Nexa Advisors, LLC. Now back to the rest of the news. Lilium released footage of its all-electric Lilium jet as it celebrates completing its first phase of flight testing, a milestone it reached less than six months since starting its flight test campaign. The Lilium jet was revealed to the world back in May and since then has been put through its paces at an airfield in southern Germany. The emissions-free aircraft, which will be able to complete journeys up to 162 nautical miles in one hour on a single charge, has now been flown at speeds exceeding 54 knots in increasingly complex maneuvers. The new footage reveals the aircraft transitioning from vertical flight to level flight. The release of the footage came as the company also celebrated the completion of its first dedicated manufacturing facility, an important step towards preparing the company for serial production. Zipline, a startup drone company who already delivers emergency medical supplies in Rwanda and Ghana, is testing medical supply drones with the U.S. military. Between July and September, the company partnered with the DoD and Naval Medical Research Center to deploy its drones during four multinational military forces exercises in Australia. Zipline's autonomous drones made more than 380 deliveries of mock blood and other medical supplies to troops amid live fire exercises with the U.S., Australian, and other forces. Mass casualty events were simulated by having the drones respond to emergency delivery requests from multiple locations. Each drone had to deliver 150 pounds of cargo in less than three hours and were also tested in extreme conditions such as 
high winds, low and zero visibility, rain and gun fire. Zipline's fixed wing design gives the drones added range, making them even more useful for delivering supplies. And that's all for today's Airborne Unmanned. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.